Okay, so we're at the uh, the other end of the process now, and uh, I want to clean the lawnmower up. So basically, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to presume I don't have an air compressor. We're just going to use a vacuum cleaner. Um, yes, I know it's a Kirby, and they're hugely expensive, and I don't want to cause confusion in the thread by dwelling on the vacuum cleaner too much. Any vacuum cleaner for the purposes of what we're talking about will do. What's more important is that we have a brush and a crack and crevice tool to do this job sort of well. So uh, I guess to start with we'll um, get the crack and crevice tool on the hose and we'll just try and suck up in here and also inside the catcher door and on that sheet there. So I'll get my assistant Annabelle to turn the vacuum cleaner on. Lovely. Alright, so let's just get stuck in here. Oh yes, that's very easy. Lovely. Effortless. No worries. So, yep, I think the vacuum cleaner, if you don't have an air compressor, is the way to go. Just sort of get stuck in here. Very good. And uh, a little bit here. See, there is a drain hole there, even though they say not to wash the mower. I, uh, I gather that's probably more for fuel that may have been spilt during refilling. Um, but yeah, so we'll just sort of clean in the cracks and crevices and uh, just try and remove some debris here. And then here. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> oh, not so easily though, picking up the tree nuts that have uh, escaped me during uh, pre-mowing cleanup and managed to make it into the catcher. But uh, that's okay. Oops. Drop the phone there, that's not the best idea. Righto, so having removed all of that now, uh, we'll just throw the... Uh, the brush on and then just try and get rid of some of the debris and things that accumulates around the fuel tank and around the air cleaner. <laughs> it's interesting <laughs> trying to work out where I've got to put the brush looking at it through the camera. But we're halfway getting there. Get stuck into here a bit. Got the, just the, that, no, it's alright. Just got a little bit of dirt in there. A little bit here. Right, a bit in there. <laughs> Some days it's good having a helper and other times I think it's a bit tiring, but <laughs> It's, uh, it's bringing it off pretty easy. So yeah, I sort of feel confident now if you didn't have a, an air compressor, you could easily use just a household vacuum cleaner or a shop vac if you've got one, might even be better. But uh, it's only grass, it's only really fine. You know, it's not like if it got walked into your house, you'd hesitate to use such a machine to pick it up. So I think we're looking pretty reasonable now. just have a look on the uh, catcher door and we'll see if there's anything that's escaped us in there. Oh, there's a little bit here. And there we go. I suppose the advantage of doing it this way is uh, any weed seeds really do get picked up and uh, thrown away with the, the dirt in the vacuum cleaner bag, so shouldn't have any contamination issues at all. Let's get the uh like the the nozzle. Of the grass, so it's really good.
you can see that none of the grass is stuck to the chute. It does gather there a little, but none of it actually gets stuck. The vacuum cleaner is easy, just with sheer airflow alone, it's just able to take it away. So uh, I don't feel that in any way the uh, the chute door is is too small or anything. It seems fine. Uh, it's just a bit different. I imagine they do that actually to get good distribution of grass into the catcher. They can increase the speed that the air is traveling at on the way through the mower housing and into the catcher. Then they can probably uh, uh, get better distribution and compaction of the debris in the catcher. And that probably just helps make good use of limited catcher space. So uh, can you just get me the crack and crevice tool there, Annabelle? So, I'll just stick that on there, thank you. And uh, yeah, you probably do need something like this to get in here. I don't know how well this will go. I've not cleaned it this way before. It seems to be working pretty well though. Yeah, I think it's mostly clear now. That's probably a little bit on the other side there. Yeah, I feel fairly confident that this would be a, a pretty reasonable way of cleaning up a mower. Just see if there's any grass that's gathered in here. Looks much clearer this side. This tends to be an issue more on the other side that it collects. Right, and now we probably just need to clean the catcher a little bit. So if Annabelle brings the catcher over here and sets it down. My dad. Yep. My dad is a very good expert. <laughs> and we'll just pick up some of the grass seeds and debris in here if we can. Just to keep the airflow in the catcher operating at its most effective. Oh, like I say, uh, I, I agree that uh, these cloth catchers are not for everyone and potentially if you were uh, mowing all day every day you might have some durability issues with them but uh, I must say that in a, uh, a domestic setting uh, this has probably been by far and away the best feature uh, of the mower from a usability standpoint simply because I think that it, uh, it really enables you to uh, pick up a lot of the clippings and seeds really well where uh, Essentially a catcher that's more solid has limited air space in it. And so it does a very good job, but really not really seeking to create disagreement or dissension amongst the forum members over it. I uh, prepared for people to have their own feelings about it of course. But you know it's uh, very good. So there we go. So now that that's all done, next time I go to use the mower, uh, I expect the airflow will be pretty good. It's not necessary to do this every time. In fact, I uh, usually just give the mower a shake out. Um, but as you can see, the even after just a single use, there is a lot of debris inside the catcher. And in fact, I'm, I'm quite impressed with how well the vacuum cleaner seems to be rounding it up. So, so it gets really dirty. definitely, definitely look at using a vacuum cleaner to clean up your catcher.